Hey, Justin Abel here with STL Tones, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use an individual model with a compressor trace, and you can do some pretty cool things. So let's go ahead and jump in. So for this example, we're going to trace my distressor two separate times. One will just be a compressor trace without any distortion activated on the distressor. It's just going to be the compressor circuit. And then we're going to do an individual model trace where I'm going to put the distressor to one-to-one -one so that there's going to be no compression happening and we'll activate distortion two for kind of a tube-like distortion. So I dialed in a really heavy-handed setting on the distressor. I think it sounds awesome for this snare. So this is without. With it. So definitely not subtle at all, but I'm really liking it on this snare and I think it's gonna be cool to have a trace like this. So once again, we're gonna grab the tracer tone and we will run it through this signal chain. And once that's done printing, you can click tracer, go into the compressor, import the file that you just did. Once again, it's gonna analyze the audio and tell you if you have enough headroom or not, which I do, so we'll proceed. Trace mono, because it's a mono source, and let it work. And just like that, you have a new compressor trace. So if you go in here, I go to my tracer compressors, you go to my new folder, and uh, distressor 20 to one, this is that setting. So now let's do the second trace to make this even more of a clone of a distressor. So I'm going to move my distressor setting to one to one. I'm going to turn on the link function and I'm gonna to go to distortion two. From my understanding, if you don't have two distressors, if you click the link button, it actually sends more signal into the distortion circuit for just like a more aggressive overdrive. So this is what the snare sounds like with the distressor bypassed. This is with it on. So pretty crispy, but I'm stoked to have this as a trace. So we can actually just go right over here, select the tracer tone again, and commit it down so that we can print it. Okay, and now that we've printed through the distressor, we can go back into the tracer. We're gonna do an individual model this time. We're going to import this file, which we have distressor distortion two right here gonna analyze to make sure that your, your levels are good and you have enough headroom and we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed and let it work. Okay, so now the tracing is complete. So we can go down here and you'll see if you go to my tracer models, you'll see distressor distortion two. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the dynamic section right now so we can just listen to the individual model. Okay, now we can go over to the dynamic section. We can go over to my tracer compressors and you'll see distressor 20 to one right there. So now we have an incredibly accurately modeled distressor. So now I can dial in the, the dynamic section a little bit to get some gain reduction. So here's before. Okay, and just like that, you've essentially made your very own distressor plugin. It has just the crispy grit that I just love from my hardware, and it recreates it really, really well. Another really cool thing that you can do with this is you could load a different individual model while still having the distressor compressor trace. So I already went ahead and made an individual model trace of my Wes Audio Dione, which is like an SSL style compressor. Um, with no compression happening, but the THD set to high, which has a really cool and a very interesting character, very different from the distressor. So you could go in here and I can recall my Dione with high uh, THD. And now you have the color of my Dione as an individual model trace with still the compression character of, of a distressor. Yeah, and I would actually say that that's a really cool combo because 
The THD from the Dione has kind of a crispy, quick nature to it, while Distortion 2 has, that again, that tubey, um, slower, beefier sound. So this actually pairs with the snare really well. We could even go crazy and load the Deja Vu individual model that we did that is just gassed. So really quickly, as you start building up your own individual model traces, you can change the color of this plugin, customize to yourself, your own gear, your own taste, and, and truly make this plugin your own. It's really awesome. So remember, whenever you make something cool like this, feel free to come up here, save, you know, snare, fat. And now we have a merged preset that we can instantly recall whenever we want. Also, don't forget, you can always upload your own traces, whether they're individual models, compressors, even merged presets. You can upload these to the Trace Exchange and share them with the whole Control Hub community. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions about Control Hub, head over to stltones.com to learn more.